Wow, Sam be cutting all this. So if I get all the rocks out of there today, will you cut the others? I'll get them. I'm not afraid of no snakes. Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm terrified of snakes. Ah! Good morning, guys. Welcome. Get off me, puppy. Good morning. Welcome to today. Today is Sunday, and I am giving the girls the morning off. That does not mean they don't have to do stalls, because they have the horses, not me. But I sometimes like to let them sleep in. Obviously, uh, the girls are super responsible about the horses, and but they're still kids, and I want them to have some days where they get to just be kids. All right, day number three, Trick and Finn. So we put water and dissolved most of the medicine in yesterday's uh, in this little cup. We added it to his grain today, and maybe it will change the taste for him. Oh, are you excited for it? Hope you are. All right, Finny. Eat it up, big man. Is it good? Yeah, a couple of people were upset that I was giving Finn medicine and his food and were upset that I was forcing him to take something he didn't want. Sometimes that has to happen, even with kids, especially when they're little. Nobody likes medicine. Sometimes medicine has to happen and you gotta do what you gotta do for the horse's best interest and for the child's best interest. And so yeah, it's true. And it's true that I do give my kids some days off to be kids and I actually have a lot of rules for YouTube and for our life to help ensure my kids get a genuine childhood. YouTube can like be super stressful and can cause a lot of problems. I think we've avoided a lot of them. Like my kids are so open and honest and real and I feel like it's because of the things that I keep from them from YouTube. We don't force them to video. We don't like I have a lot of rules. Like if this this vlog, I told you guys a long time ago that this vlog was my passion, my thing. And that's why I don't force Sam to be in it. Or I don't try and force Sam to be in it. If he's in it, he's in it. If he wants to be in it, he wants to be in it. But he doesn't usually ever just pick up the camera. And I don't say, go pick up the camera. Okay, I do say that occasionally. But um, because it's not his thing. And if he doesn't want to be in it, he doesn't want to be in it. And it's not that he ever doesn't want to be in it. It's just not his thing to pick up the camera. Like that's an extra job. It's an extra thing for him to do and he never thinks to do it. It's what I love. It's me. And if one of my girls want to do it when they get older and really get into it, then all the better for them. But if they don't, that's okay too. I've so far, they both really like being in the videos. And I think a lot of it is because I have so many rules. Like I don't, and force them being in front of the camera. I bring out the camera when I'm videoing something. I don't make them perform for the camera. I let them be real. I let them just live their lives and I video just their lives. Like, it's super complicated. I'm gonna make a video on my channel about it and about all the rules that I have. But for the most part, that's the way it works for us. Good job, Sam. Bravo, don't fall. Yesterday the girls and I were in the arena doing the do not leave the arena challenge, last to leave the arena challenge. And we were in here and we were sitting on the couch. We were looking way out there. Sam was fixing his tractor and I was super excited that he was fixing his tractor because uh, then he could cut more grass. So he's fixing his tractor and we're all watching him and all of a sudden he did like a big pirouette and then slowly fell to the ground. Like it was in slow motion. He did this pirouette and then he slowly fell to the ground. And it was like he, like, I didn't know if he had a heart attack. I didn't know if he fell down. Like we just were all so shocked and then we were laughing because when a man falls down, you kind of expect them to fall like a tree instead of like <laughs> doing a little dance and then slowly lowering to the ground. And we were all screaming, what happened? He fell, he fell. <laughs> Oh, it was really funny. It sounds mean now. I de definitely did ask him if he's okay before I started laughing. <laughs> it was funny. Do you want to go in there? Miss Molly, the Border Collie. <coughs> so this is what you do. You feed the horses and then have it sit down. Be nice, Molly. Yeah. Oh, wait till they're ready to go out. And then we go? You want me to go throw the hay? Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw the hay. 
<laughs> Ponies are already eating. So this is how much hay we still have left after kind of cutting back so that we're not overfeeding our horses and putting them on grass for a couple of hours each day. Definitely going way slower than it ever has before. Uh, Stormy obviously needs a brush. I should do that because he didn't get brushed last night. So now I'm covered in dirt, but Stormy's looking good. <coughs> You're choking me up there, dude. I know, he loves to be groomed. Eat all of his grain? Yeah. All right, that's good. He got more of it today. Oh, goodness sake. <laughs> like, you never scratch me enough. Look at that lip is about to go. See him? <gasps> Such a cute boy. All right, you're done. Put some bug spray on. There's still a ton of sand in there. Sam's gotten to be an expert, an expert bug sprayer. <sighs> He's like, I hate this. So you guys ever see Sam let Storm eat grass on the way to the field? It drives me insane. That's his little treat. That's his little treat. But then he makes me do it too. And if I don't, he acts like an idiot. Right. Right. So what are we doing? Well, You're bringing two and I bring one? <laughs> okay, one at a time? Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll leave Finn since he had the... Medicine? <laughs> Equizen? Who do you want? Yeah, right. I'll take... I like Chino. All right, you take Chino. All right, I'll take Chino. I want to ride Chino, to be honest. Because, I don't know if you guys noticed, but even when he's going to refuse a jump, he takes care and makes sure Gabby doesn't fall off. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? All right, so bad things happened today. Molly puked for the first time in Gabby's bedroom, right? Yeah, because she jumped down off the bed. But then she went to Sophia's room and came back and threw up. <laughs> So I think she's saying that Sophia's room stinks and she's like, oh, I can throw up <laughs> no. No. no, that's not what she's saying. She nice try. And I had a little thing that had like a little tiny container that had a couple of treats and she got it and she tried to open it. Did she eat something under your bed? No. Maybe Sophie should have cleaned up the mess. Yeah. So the girl slept in, like I told you guys. And Sam got the puppy out of her bed, gave her breakfast, took her out to the bathroom, oh, out of her yeah, out of her cage, and then he let her run around, and she ended up puking on Gabby's bed. And then she ended up puking in Gabby's room, and it was disgusting. Like it was so gross. Like I was gagging, Gabby was gagging. Like there was no way we could clean it. So then we said, Sam, it was your fault because you didn't watch her, so you have to clean it. Even though, really, who should have cleaned it? Who should have cleaned it? Yeah. Gabby. But sometimes, like, you just can't do certain things. Like, I, like, some people can't do roller coasters. I can't do dog puke. Like, it's just gross. <laughs> Sam is the resident dog I puke picker up. No, I hate roller coasters now. I used to like them when I was young. You want to go to roller coasters this year, don't you? Mm -hmm. We should do it. I got Gabby up finally. And she is going to ride Finney before she leaves so we got him some more Equizen he's still not getting a full dose but we're gonna probably get it into him tomorrow or the next day because tomorrow is his day off I'm loving this moment can we stay here together if I could stop the time don't you know that I would cuz I'm just loving this moment can we stay here forever he knows what's happening. Fiona said we could ride him with another horse. So uh, part, part of the problem is he doesn't want to be alone, but he's not really that crazy about having to have another horse. Uh, so we offered Kaylee to ride a horse 
but she's going to ride her own horse at her own barn in an hour. So she might bring Gracie out and do some stuff with Gracie because uh, Gracie needs some work. <laughs> Kaylee weighs well under 100 pounds and she's a good height for Gracie. So she's always our resident ride Gracie girl. All right, so some people said what we should do for Finn to make him not rear. You know what it is? Span the circle. Crack an egg over his head when he rears. Makes him see, think that he got Crack cut. An egg over his head? Yeah, you want me to go get eggs? I was like, let's do that. Let's do it. Or some people said water works the same. Some people say water. Like spinning in a circle works the same. Yeah, but he it can't. Better. But he can't go in a circle because, like, in a tight circle because of his. Well, if he rears or bucks or does any of that, she kind of has to tell him off. Himself. Yeah, so that's and why an egg. Tell him off without doing it. And if you crack he an... would still rear, even if we cracked an egg on his skull or poured water on him. But people say, I know, that's what people say, that it could make him be worse or it could make him think, think that he hurt himself. Like blood running down his face. Don't we have to clean that? I, I know. I'm. I know. I'm just joking. I don't want to do it either. We're gonna have a lesson. Gabby's gonna have a lesson this week on Finn. Uh, super interesting ideas, though. Like I love hearing ideas like that. Since you guys have such good ideas, I do have a question for you. So everybody that's local to me tells me that the most sugar in grass is in the morning. That's what I've always heard my whole life. Okay, the whole two years that we've had horses. That's what I've heard. Sugar is the worst. Uh, in the morning, but then everything I read online says that sugar comes out with the sun and it's the lowest at night and in the morning and it's the highest in the afternoon. So who the heck do I believe? The people I know? The people around me? The people in this area? Or what I read online? Comment online. below what you can <laughs> like, just believe the, what you read online. What you guys think? Like who, what, when is sugar the highest in the grass? I feel like it's the highest in the afternoon. And here I am feeding my horses in the afternoon. None of our horses are our metabolic horses or have issues at the moment, but I want to prevent a problem. And uh, Finn here is not a metabolic horse, but he does definitely have the kind of body and the kind of personality that would, that would, could turn into a metabolic horse. Like try this gorgeous helmet. It's so gorgeous. Green is in. All right, so let's get this girl done. Look at we're gonna have two palominos in the ring, in the arena, two palominos. Gracie's like, yeah, I'm going for a ride. She loves her ride days. Finn's just watching. He's like, this is gonna be good. I'm getting a girl with me. Oh, and Willow, you're bringing Willow? Yeah, oh. she's actually I love it. She literally gets so excited. She's like, let's go now. So we ride Gracie without a bit because we don't have a bit for her and I feel like it's made all the difference for her. Bridal. Without a bridle and a bit. So we just ride her in a halter and a little western saddle. And she's like, I'm so excited. I see you standing there, a soothing atmosphere. Smell of your aftershave, sweet blossom in the rain. You flip around your hair as if you're... And Finn's watching her. He's watching at the back of his eye. He's watching out of the corner of his eye. He's like, oh, we'll she's out. coming with me. Um, what? Really nice oh, good road. Lord. <sighs> Ruby, come. I thought Van was going to flip over. So did I. And then I thought he was going to run into Gracie. Gracie's being so good. Yeah, Gracie's like, let's get closer. Such a butt though. He doesn't want to leave his friends. So Gabby's praising him a ton. Kaylee is so much like me. When Finn just had his little freak out, she closed her eyes. I thought he was going to flip over. Oh, me too. Have never done his yeah, and we would all been not happy. Once he's in here, he's okay. And he, you guys should know, he's never ever done this before. Maybe I should stop with the Equizen. What do you think? Uh, Kaylee loves Gracie now. She likes her as much as we like her. 
because she's little she's manageable and she has the best freaking personality doesn't she she's just a happy little pony yeah and that's the thing a lot of horses a lot of horses actually just need one person and then they settle in a lot going on in this little arena we have three horses and a dog ruby get out Makes me nervous to see uh, Sophie in the middle though because I keep thinking Finn's going fast. It works like the day by day circus. Actually, you know what I wanted to do this morning? I wanted us to, yeah, we were going to go on a run this morning and I thought we should do a big mock barrel racing. A darker Palomino, like he's a darker orange. Oh. <laughs> and then Gracie is a lighter color. I love him framed. People say put a tie down on him. We're here. She's looking at the dog. He's looking at the dog. Are you going to canter? Because you won't let him jump? How do you know he's mad at you? What? You're not supposed to canter. This is a nice canter. This is a nice canter. We got one summer. Much nicer, Ruby. Stay. Throwing things that he does not expect. Yeah, I was kind of standing there. Yeah. So back to basics with Finn.
he's actually stretching now and framing. and framing. He's doing really good now. That's so good for him. I'm sorry, buddy. So if you're left there. Yeah. It's not in the middle. <laughs> Kaylee's barn and they have this thing where uh, nobody's allowed in the barn but uh, they decided to go for a trail ride so Gabby's riding Kaylee's new dad's new horse Sam is out there oh is he dumping the water Sam's out there cutting grass again and the horses are having lunch which basically means that I am sitting here doing nothing one thing you might not know about me is that I am not big on resting napping um, I rest every day like little tiny bits here and there, but I always have to be busy. I always have to have a job I always always have to be on the go That's why I understand animals that are the same as me like Molly one thing about being on a farm is that there are always things that you can do Always work to be done and I really like that but it is Sunday afternoon and I'm reading a really good book and I feel like I'm gonna go down and lay by the arena and take the chihuahuas and just like read my book lay on the couch take the dogs let them play outside and I'm just gonna relax like you guys don't know how big of a deal this is to me it's not something I love to do very often but when I do love to do it it's so fun to be able to get to do it but I love it so that's what I'm gonna do for the afternoon I'll catch you guys later when Gabby gets back and after the horses are done grazing today they're up to uh, four hours on the on the grass they've been doing excellent forever 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 I watch you as you sleep You don't know I'm looking With you everything is complete Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite